Today we're going to demonstrate how to calibrate the HM30 Gilson Type B pressure meter which is used to measure air content of fresh concrete. Once the lid assembly has been removed, our base is ready to be filled with room temperature water to begin the calibration process. Pick up the lid assembly and thread the straight calibration tube into the only threaded hole on the underside of the lid, directly beneath the petcock. Place the lid assembly on top of the base, making sure there is solid contact around its circumference, assuring that the meter is airtight once the lid is clamped to the base. Now, secure the two opposite clamps simultaneously, and repeat until all four clamps have secured the lid to the base. Both petcocks are now open so water can enter and exit the bowl freely without trapping air. To fill the air meter base with water, fill the blue syringe with water from the water bucket and place the end of the syringe into the petcock with the straight calibration tube attached to it. The base is full when water flows out the opposite petcock. Next, close the petcock that the water was injected into, leaving the other petcock open. Move the unit in such a manner so that any air still trapped in the base has a chance to escape. Now, refill any water that's been lost by reopening the petcock and using the syringe to add more water into the same petcock as previously performed. Once you're sure the air has been removed and the base is full of water, close both petcocks and pump the unit up until the dial comes around to the predetermined initial pressure reading visible at approximately the 5 o'clock position. Next, make small adjustments to assure that the needle is aligned to the predetermined initial pressure mark by lightly tapping the gauge body to stabilize the needle. And if too much air is pumped into the meter, loosen the air bleeder valve cap to reduce the pressure. And be sure to tighten the valve cap before resuming. When the gauge at the outset reads the predetermined initial pressure, Press down on the needle valve lever to inject the air into the base. As you hold down the lever, lightly tap the gauge body again to make sure that the gauge rests on zero. If two or more determinations show the same variation from zero percent, then the initial pressure line will have to be adjusted. Now screw the bent calibration tube into the top side of the petcock that already has the short tube fixed to it, making sure that the tube opening faces down. Now. Place the empty calibration vessel directly under the bent tube. Next, open the bent calibration tube petcock and slowly press down on the needle valve lever to fill the calibration vessel completely full of water. Once the calibration vessel is exactly full, stop the flow of water by releasing the needle valve lever. Next, discard the water in the vessel and set it aside. If determinations are to be made at higher air content, then multiple calibration vessels can be removed to achieve the desired air content. Now, open the opposing petcock to allow water from the bent calibration tube back into the base. Once the water flows back into the base, we can open the other petcock and remove the bent calibration tube and set it aside. Air content is now set according to the calibration value determined by the vessel calibration. In this case, it's 5%. In your case, refer to the value determined previously during the calibration of the calibration vessel for the proper air content. Now, close both petcocks and pump the unit back up to the predetermined initial pressure mark, making sure to lightly tap the gauge body until it stabilizes. Next, press down on the needle valve lever to exhaust the air into the base, making sure to hold the lever down while again lightly tapping the gauge body until the reading stabilizes. The gauge should read plus or minus 0.1% from the correct air content as determined by the calibration of the calibration vessel. In this demonstration, the value is 5%. If two successive readings show a variation greater than 0.1% from the correct air content, you'll have to adjust the gauge needle to read appropriately. This adjustment is performed by unscrewing the gauge glass 
and using a small screwdriver to move the gauge to the proper position. Once the adjustment is completed, reinstall the gauge glass and repeat the calibration procedure at least twice to ensure that our initial pressure zero has not changed and that the air content readings are accurate to within 0.1%. After two successive readings confirm that the gauge reading is within 0.1% of the correct air content, then the pressure meter is properly calibrated. Unclamp the lid assembly, remove the small calibration tube, and finally remove the water from within the base. For any questions concerning calibrating the HM30 or for any other Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.